Hello, Rick Off here. Welcome to video number seven of Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. Today I'm going to show you some uh, very interesting things and uh, I'm going to try and move this along as quickly as possible uh, so that we can squeeze in as much as possible into the 10 minute time period. Now I mentioned in my previous video that I would be relabeling uh, my magnets and I have done that to conform to science and industry standards although I feel that uh, those standards are incorrect and uh, I just want us all to be on the same page so that's why I have done that in spite of my feelings about the mislabeling. Now just to show you that I have relabeled my magnets properly according to science and industry standards that is. Uh, here's a magnet. Here's one of my rotor magnets. You can see this is a stack of uh, two magnets actually and uh, I've labeled this north. I'm going to turn it this way for a second and I'll bring my uh, compass over towards it and uh, it should spin around yes so you see the south on the compass is facing the uh, magnet uh, it's facing the north labeled magnet uh, of course, as I pointed out in my last video, this is um, an impossible situation because the, um, the south pointer on the compass is actually a north magnetized pointer. Now I know that some of you, perhaps many of you, will be thinking to yourselves, well, these little magnets are so small, how could they possibly have enough strength in them? How could they be powerful enough to do uh, what I've been showing you in these videos? Well, I'll tell you something. These little neodymium magnets, small as they are, are very powerful. And I want to demonstrate that to you. I'd like to do that right now and what I'm going to do I'll, I'll bring my wheel around and you can see that I have a ruler taped to it and it's taped uh, right at the point uh, where the zero mark is in alignment with the edge of the, uh, the the outer edge of the magnets okay now I'm going to take a little block of wood it's just a, a thin block of wood. It's actually cut off of a paint stirring stick. And I'm going to place the magnet on top of the block. Okay, here we go. Here's the block. Here's the magnet. I'm going to put the um, south side, uh, the so-called south side of the magnet, facing upwards, the shiny side that is. And I'll put that right out to the edge of the um, block of wood. I'm going to lift up the um, lift up the ruler so it's pretty much level and I'll line this up with the ruler markings. Now I have here five inches, six and seven. Now as I slide this uh, block of wood up this way on the, along the ruler You'll notice when I get up uh, between five and five and a half inches, uh, you'll see that the um, magnet is going to start to tip up. The magnet will tip up uh, right here on this side because it'll want to lean towards the other group of magnets on the wheel. Even though it's that far away, you'll see the interaction. Now watch as I slide it up. Well, actually, it happened even before that. It happened at um, six and a half inches. 
So you can see how powerful these magnets are, the interactions between them. Now I'll take that uh, magnet away and I'm going to remove the ruler. Lay that aside for a moment. Okay. Now I'd like to show you something else. Now holding the magnet in my hand at about the same distance of about six inches from the wheel, from the rim, watch what happens when I spin the wheel. We have a dancing magnet. This is uh, an experiment that uh, one of my pals, Ren, showed me. Very powerful, these little neodymium magnets. Now, Ren had some uh, monster magnets. And he could hold uh, his magnet even further away and make it dance. But I think you can understand now the, uh, how, how very powerful these magnets are. Now, just one more power display for you. I've tipped the uh, camera angle up a little bit so you can see this one better. And uh, I'm going to put a sheet of white paper out here for a moment so you can see what I'm placing here with my other hand. It's a uh, dangling magnet. It's dangling on an ordinary piece of sewing thread. And uh, the, the thread is simply sandwiched in between the two magnets of the stack. Okay? Now, here's my dangling magnet. And I'm going to bring it over above the other magnets. You see how it turns up? It, it, uh, it bends up. It's interacting with the other magnets. Now watch. Watch when I swing the wheel. Look at that, it's violently jumping around. Um, and as I raise it up, it's still reacting. And it's about 10 inches away right now. And it's still reacting quite violently. So, uh, you can imagine how the uh, power of the hard drive magnet would interact with these little rotor magnets. The hard drive magnet, I'm sure, is at least five times stronger. So there's a very strong interaction between these magnets. So I, I think this should uh, allay the um, suspicions of anyone who thinks that uh, these magnets aren't powerful enough to do what I've shown them doing.